All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Patter Test Man, Log TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. So this is a beast and a beauty all in one knife sent to me by our awesome channel member, uh, Andrew Hobbert. Andrew has lent me, uh, we were talking earlier, uh, I don't know, 20, 30, 40 knives, something like that, uh, to review. And this is the ProTech Godfather. And this is what they're calling the tuxedo version. There are tons of versions of the Godfather. Some are available, some are not. And unfortunately, this one, I've done some searching, is not currently available. Now, what you've got is black coated blade, black coated handles, uh, aluminum handles with this what they call, I believe, ivory micarta. Uh, let's see, I want to get the right name of it. Uh, they just say micarta. But I believe it's called ivory, and it's not because it's made out of ivory, it's just the color of the micarta. You have the silver button, the silver pivot, uh, the rest of the screws are also silver. Uh, very cool look. Uh, now guys, what you don't know right now is that this is a beast. Uh, this is a very large, folding knife uh, that is a automatic out the side knife uh, again chamfered off really well protec uh, made in the usa very cool now uh, you do have a um a fairly deep clip but you got about that much sticking out of the pocket not reversible decent clip good in and out of the pocket good retention i like the clip the button is definitely countersunk look at that beautiful uh finished so well and again uh it is a spring loaded automatic it is dead centered come on you can't even see there you go dead centered beautiful now when you push this button uh there there almost feels like a little bit of stick there uh, not stick, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a little bit of hesitation while you're pushing, uh, but then once you hit it, it goes perfectly. So uh, again, uh, you can see I can do this. It's a big enough blade. I can definitely get out here and close it one-handed. You just gotta be really careful. Get a nice positive click there. There is no lock or anything like that. One side tooled pivot, uh, not the other very nicely made i mean it's just fantastic now feels good in the hand it is a big guy uh so if you have smaller hands you may not care for this knife because it is definitely big and filling up my hand now the best grip is kind of this pinch whoops grip like this um guys this is it has a protect logo here and on the other side we have 154 cm and that is it on the blade a ridiculous dagger grind slash uh, spear point going on here, swedged all the way out here, and very, very uh, neat and tidy on that grind. Uh, just beautiful. Now, um, yeah, bump the, bump the camera, Casey. Go for it. Golly, klutzy oaf. Uh, does it cut? Yes, it indeed does. Um, and does it pierce? Why, well, yes. Um, and I'm not even stabbing. Here we go. Uh, whoops. And it wasn't even on camera, but yes, definitely stabs, definitely cuts. Uh, as you can see, kind of shaves, uh, fairly easily there. If you see what I'm talking about, very, very nice. Uh, definitely a cutter. Um, and you know, like I said, this is not, uh, you know, your mom's knife. This is a pretty big, uh, knife. As a matter of fact, it does not fit all the way down in my tray, which means I believe it's over nine and a half inches, but we'll find that out in the uh, specs talk here in just a minute. You can see it is bigger than the Ontario Rat 1 and much bigger than the Rat 2. Look at that. That thing is a beastly big boy. Very, very cool. Now, once this guy is locked up, no play. Well, okay. There's a little bit of side to side. When I'm way out here, when I'm back here, I can't feel it. When I'm way out here, I kind of feel a little side to side. No up and down. Um, very clean. I was, hold on. I don't want to cut myself here. Um, no milling. So just a very clean, open construction. You do have kind of 
what I would call not uh, what do you call it, KC? Uh, anyway, uh, it doesn't have a backspacer. It's the backspacer is built in and screwed together. Very very cool. All right, let's leave it open while we talk specs. Now, it is not available unfortunately anywhere I could find, which doesn't necessarily mean it's not available. It just means I couldn't find it. But I'm going to read from Blade HQ. Now these are normally two seventy nine ninety nine. It is a 9.25 inch knife, uh, 0.13 on the blade stock, which is great. Comes down to a nice flat grind, not very tall, uh, but it's definitely thin. 154 cm spear point. Um, ooh, it says it's hollow. Is it really? All right, we gotta look at this. Yes, it is. Okay, it's hollow. And by the way, you have a very nice sharpening choil. Uh, definitely got some good long blade. Uh, sharpening a, a le, pff, life there black and white color uh is micarta 0.15 on the handle thickness i mean excuse me 0.49 where did i get one five um but again it's chunky feeling because it's taller you can see it flares out in the handle big forefinger uh no real wear to choke up but you don't really i mean this is just humongous um, 3.85 ounces. It is made of aluminum. Uh, that is a great weight for that size knife. Um, it is model number 952 and it is made in the USA. Very, very stinking cool. Um, Andrew, I really am enjoying, uh, checking this one out. I appreciate it. Now let's just real quick. If I go back and I just say protect Godfather, I want to see if I can find some of these available that are not the uh, this particular model uh, in case somebody just wants a Boy, are they all out of stock? Uh, okay, at least at Blade HQ, there are no Godfathers available. At uh, Knife Center, okay, here we go. Knife Center has a, uh, for $249, they have a black aluminum one with uh, 154 cm and carbon fiber they have a black one um ooh, it's an operator ooh, is that actually in stock hold on all right we're gonna go look i think it's actually in stock it is not okay so it acted neither one of those are available it acts like it's in stock but then when you click on it it says currently unavailable so none of those are available so i was a big liar how about gp knives one last check and then we'll give up <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now we got it. GP Knives has a blue, a solid blue with 154. Ooh, for 210. They also have a desert plain edge. They have, um, actually, you know what? The blue is the only one in stock for $210. So <clears throat> if you actually, if you absolutely like this model and you don't want to wait for the ivory, there's a blue one available at GP Knives at the time of the recording. So very cool. Oh, by the way, the action, pretty snappy. Uh, the spring is pretty strong. You have to definitely, uh, you know, push that pretty hard. Not bad. Um, and you can see pops out there. I did review the Newport in this same color combo. So if you want to go look for that on my channel, I'll try to put a link up if I remember um, very cool as well. So thank you, Andrew, for another great loaner. Really enjoyed this one. Please, guys, give me a thumbs up. Give Andrew a thank you and give me a comment down below. All the things, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for all your support. For everything you do for this channel, guys, I cannot do it without you. Thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.